All right, our next. I can't see. Is this right? It's not. Yeah. Turn that. I, I can't even see that. That's not right. Yeah, that is. This I camera. See I'm looking right I, I'm at I'm over you. here, no? This camera. Do you not trust me? Dude? No, no, I do, no, but. Right. You right now, man. Unless you want to just turn it like this. Yeah. All right. I can see you, though. I see you. Hey, get your shit together, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. It's, it's Fucking, like, it, it's I'm going to do blast for you, man. <laughs> it's in the, it's yeah, been in the same spot for eight years. And man, then now, now I was like, what the f*** is this kid doing? What the f*** do I have him around for? You, you want to set up the cameras? What the hell? Hey, Brandon. Jesus. Hey, did you say that? Brandon walked in, and now you're feeling some type of way. Mayweather, right? Mary. Merryweather. Yes, yeah. Mayweather is the boxer. You know, know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he cool people, though. He cool people, but, yeah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm Mary. So it's Merryweather. Okay. Ready? We're going. Uh, you, just, you, are, you just shit on me online. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> He'll cut that little prick. We don't cut. No, I'm don't not cut shit. I'm not cutting that. that. Don't cut nothing. I'm not cutting I love him. Yo, don't hey, cut Hey, everybody, cut my next guest is a great guy named Brandon Mer Merriweather, who played for the New England Patriots and the New York Giants. Yeah, the Washington, and I played a, a couple months in Chicago, 10 years in it. Ten years, and you did you play uh, DB or uh, I play safety? Yes, safety. DB. I knew it was in the back. Yeah, yeah. and uh, man, I tell you what, man, I look at you, you guys, and I I remember going in a locker room in 1986 or eighty five, and I saw man, Lawrence I just Taylor. Born, man, I was born in eighty four. Man, God. jeez, man, I was born in sixty one. Ninety seven. <laughs> man, you older than my mama, and I still party like daddy. a motherfucker. Boy. <laughs> you still party like that? Man, Dude, I, look I at him. See. Look at him. He goes, damn, this motherfucker's built yeah. different. Yeah, but you got to understand, you're talking about him and me. That's two different kind of party levels. You know what I'm saying? That, that's like beginner level. That's like expert. Well, like, come on now. Let's Nick, not Nick, get Nick, now. tell him he has no clue. Does he? Hey, trust me. <laughs> I trust, love this guy. It ain't many people in the world that did that party the way I parted. I promise. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> Where do the cameras are off? <laughs> Listen, Is hey. It, uh, have you ever seen a... <laughs> <laughs> Break it all no, uh, no hold on Let him get it off his chest No I can't <sighs> Yeah you can I told We're you guys. No uh, Yeah we are Oh yeah 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 I got that part of it that's said, Hey you ever seen a <laughs> uh, oh, yes. <laughs> We've seen them all <laughs> Alright go ahead all right, but, See I told you yeah, 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 Now yeah. I gotta cut it Now, 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 now you gotta part. cut it for you, I you know? it. Cut <laughs> <laughs> Now we are with, with, I am with Brandon Merriweather And he is at uh, The Cigar Lounge Where I did a thing With Trey My friend and we came here with the, the studio, the mobile studio, <coughs> to support him. And there's people who support him. And this is what I love about it. You know, we're all guys in the street. You make it. You work hard. You have fun. Life is to be lived, not fucking survive. Life is to be enjoyed. And, you know, fuck, uh, yeah, fuck other people what they think. I am who I am. I don't care. I know who I am. I like who I am. And that's the end of the deal, man. And I look at that. You like that. And, you know, Trey said to me, Larry... Uh oh! When you two get together, it's gonna be trouble. Gonna be and great. I can see that because you have that energy, like I do. And I, and I, cause I'm an older guy, older than your parents. Hey, I still like it though, man. I'm gonna be like that when I'm seventy two. I hope seventy. I'm sixty two, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Nah. <laughs> no, I, I love it. Hey, a couple of questions. You've been out of the league seven years now, huh? Yes, seven years. And uh, eight, eight, eight in May. Eight in May. March. I was adjusting when you got out. That's was that was my biggest Sorry. question. No, that's all right. Keep it going. Yeah, you go. Uh, honestly, just being honest, I'm all kind of fucked up. To be honest yeah. with you, like I have my good days, my bad days. I'm on button. I'm on. Mm -hmm. I'm on medicine. You know, certain yeah. medicines from uh, concussions or. Uh, yeah, actually. That that's actually with Darcy. Actually, yeah, I got uh, five years in the NFL. So so just to tell you a little bit about me. Uh, my nor my nor doctor diagnosed me. He said I had several cracks in my brain, mm -hmm. so you know at any moment you know I could lose my shit and go off. But so far so good, you know what I mean. Like I have my bad days where you know I don't want to leave the house and mm -hmm. you know I don't want to do shit. But then I have my good days like today where you know I'm I could be out and talk to people and have fun, fun. and enjoy my life. You know, so I have my good days and my bad days. But my bad days is my worst days and my good days are. Always a light in the shot, and you know, a light in the armor. So, mm -hmm. you know, I had you know. seven concussions, you know, so I understand, you know, that end of yeah, the I game. Yeah, I had seven in one game. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was just some waxing, you know, fighting, and, and I was a fighter. So, and 
And I look at guys like yourself, and you know, they, I know the guy who does the the concussion protocols for the NFL. His name is Nowitzki. Uh, yeah, I know who you're talking you about. You know, he is. he's a friend. He's a lawyer friend I golf with, and it's his son-in-law. So I know him. I've been, you know, dated with him. We talk about because he used to be a wrestler and a football player. Mm-hmm. And uh, what they found out, you know, with obviously the, you know, uh, you guys, especially you as a professional athlete at the level you were at. You guys are faster, stronger. Uh, uh, I mean, I always said I was the wondering equipment's why. Equipment's harder. Well, no, the equipment right. is There's the equipment. I don't think it does ball, much. Is, you know, I just they, think guys like you, especially guys like you, especially the position you played. I mean, it's, it's, it's a hit game. I mean, really, it's a hit game. And I was with a couple of guys in the joint, too, who were professional athletes. Broderick Graves played a running back and, and punt returner for the Eagles. He went away. Caught up in gambling, Atlantic City, ended up selling five keys or four keys. Great guy from sound, North Carolina. Sound, sound like my big brother, Sammy Smith. Sammy Smith, the, the uh, uh, yeah, running back for yeah, the Yeah, yeah, Sammy Smith. Who got caught with like 20 keys <laughs> trying to take him to the uh, Bahamas. Yeah, that's. that's you, you know what I look at? You know who I look at and I respect a lot in, in the NFL? And I, I, I know a lot of athletes and, and stuff and boxers and stuff. You know, Ricky, uh, was it Rick? Uh, uh, who's it? Miami Dolphins. Uh, Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams. He got out at the right time. He's in the big in the pot game now. You know, I you know. Yeah, no, he always been that. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, obviously, he got out. He said, "You know what? It ain't for me." He did it. Great athlete, obviously, and did stuff. But you know, it's tough. The money. You know what I mean? And 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 listen, you, where do you come from? I come from a popka, Florida. A popka. Damn. Yeah, I used to go to Swingers Club in Bogdan. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but absolutely. the, uh, I mean, I come from the streets of Brooklyn and Bronx. I mean, literally, it was in the, the hood. The, it was a popka like that for you growing up, or? Um, yes, yes. A popka was, uh, not like Brooklyn. Like Brooklyn is kind of like Miami. You know what I mean? Like. Like Brooklyn is fast, fast paced and all that. You know what I mean? My a popka is more country, laid back, slower. But the thing with Brooklyn is, like, when you do something in Brooklyn, you always got somebody to see. Like when I was growing up, a popka, like, we didn't have to worry about the stuff y'all was worried about in Brooklyn because we we could do stuff and get actually get away with it. Mm. So it was more stuff getting done because people weren't getting caught for it. I know a popka because the head of the Republican Party used to be in popka for he goes to prison, Jim Greer. Yeah, and uh, I was his consultant in prison, and I told I told his wife. His wife called me one day and says, "You know, he's complaining." I said, "Tell that pussy, hang up the phone, hit five, hit seven. Seven was a, you reject the call, you know, in your prison." I said, "You tell him because I know him well." I says. You tell him, and he shut his mouth because he got a lot, a lot of money. And, you know, that was a big thing. You know, remember, I don't know if you knew the scam. That was out of a popka, you know. No, it, I, I remember the scam. It, yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't, the scam wasn't as big when I was growing up as it was before. But, yeah, I remember. They, oh, man. They used they, to tell us about it all the time. Oh, sure. They would say they were stealing all the Republican donor money. And they were taking 20, they, they, they built, they made a company up. And they were taking twenty five percent of all this money, so millions are coming in taking twenty five percent. This is the this is the party, all oh, bullshit. You know, life. I've learned we're something. About o- politics. Yeah, at that point. Hmm. You know, it's uh, interesting. You know, this is what happened, to the young kid, Very right? Twenty six. And how old are you? I'm I'm forty. I'll be forty in forty. You look two good months. though. Good for you. Oh, thank you. He's twenty six, so you know he he knows me well, and he's his sister for a while, and he goes, "Why should I vote?" He goes, you tell me how you bought politicians, how you did things. And, you know, we did. We had, I said, listen, it's just the way it is. And he's got some points. These young guys got points, you know, meaning uh, I get it, if you understand what I mean. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with him. Listen, and, and I'm going to be 100% honest. Always, man. Like, I'm not, a, I'm not the voting type. <clears throat> like, because I personally feel like I know this is going to sound ignorant and I got you. People I know what gonna, he's gonna say. Like people, people gonna kill me, you know, in the Twitter. You. Oh, you should see I, my comments. Too. Oh no, and I don't, and I don't, and I don't said it publicly before. Like I personally have yet to see a president affect me as a person. Hmm. So, me voting honestly feels like 
But what about vote? What, well, what about vote for the guy who's local? Now, voting for the guy who's local, that's different. You know what I mean? That's different. Like, that's who I owned. You owned the local guys. Like what the I, mayors and the commissioners. You, you, you're you're going to like what I did. 1988, I had to come to Florida. I start a new life. Let's leave it at that. I had to leave New York for some, some shit. No, I said, leave it at that. So I come to Florida. They set me up a pizzeria. I did everything. I'm over in South Florida, North Lauderdale, even though the area. You know I know the area. You see the U on my arm? Yeah, I see that. That's why, right. of course I did. So <laughs> I'm in North Lauderdale. To this day, I'm the godfather of the mayor's kid. The mayor just died. He was the longest serving mayor in the state of Florida. Get him elected. One did everything, party, everything. So we get him elected. I said to him, Jack, I says, okay, this is a regular five five council city. How do we make this a strong mayor city? You know what that means? Yeah, I know what that, that means. means the mayor makes the decision, hires the police chief, I'm, gets I'm, the con. He's the man. That's that's how a park is. Oh, it's a strong mayor city. So what we did was, I paid twenty five grand to two councilmen each, twenty five each. They voted for the city charter to change to a strong mayor city. Mm-hmm. Own the city. When I got arrested, the FBI, I got arrested at a major case squad from Quantico, Virginia. When I got arrested, helicopters were, they didn't even tell the police or anybody in that town I was in town, you know, what, what they were coming for me because I would have known, period. I would have known, guaranteed. And they came over to my house, my patio, my jacuzzi, fucking. I mean, agents, FBI, marshals, all this kind of shit. And I says, man, these guys, because I didn't know how big, you know, who was after me. Mm-hmm. It was the major case squad from Quantico, Virginia, you know? Right. So I didn't know that. What I was getting at, what you say, yes, you'll vote for a local guy, but those are the guys, the easiest guys to corrupt, technically. I mean, you know, like you said, what can the president do for you? Unless you're Walmart, you know what I'm right. getting at? You know, unless right. you're the big boys. You know, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're street guys. Well, well, the local guys, I could actually go talk to. That's I what actually, I mean. I could actually go and say, you know, and and a lot of them are my friends. You know what I mean? A lot of them, like like for instance, Mel Nelson. Me and his son played basketball together in high school. Like he's like a he's like a stepdad yeah. to me. You know what I mean? Like, of course I'm gonna go vote for him. But wait a minute. But wait a minute. I'm okay. But but wait a minute. Let's say we get him elected. He already I mean, elected. You know what I meant. Let's right. say who got him elected. Right. Get my point is once you got him, and that's cool. Listen, I never did anything to hurt my city either. If you know I, what I mean by I, that, I would never do dirt in in the. In Listen, the I'm not gonna do anything to hurt my own city. I live there. Right. But that doesn't mean it, 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 it's a legit game because every contract, everything we needed, you know, the bidding and ev- you know everything we needed to know. Absolutely. I mean, it's just the way it is, and I look at local elections totally easier to do. That's why you know. Like you're smart because the president. So who? The, what do you think the president's gonna do for you or me? Not a not a not a thing. No. And what about the electoral college? You know, if they don't. Well, uh, they don't even get me at the politics. So, I was so, into okay, politics. So. Okay, let's just start. Let's just start. Right. Let's get it. This is this is my main reason I don't vote, and I'm gonna use something that happened recently. <laughs> yeah. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote, which means more people in America voted for her than Trump. Hundred percent. And she still didn't win. I agree. So that lets you know right there that your vote don't mean a damn thing. 100%. But it does because how the electoral <laughs> college works is they have to vote. I love third by parties. The, wait, they have to I vote. No, parties. Nick. You got to listen how the electoral college works. Go ahead. I'm, and yeah, I, they I, work by section. Make sure I get my rebuttal after you say You that. have it. Absolutely. But how it works is the, the representative of that district is voted through the Congress. So you have to vote down the line. That's how it works. I agree with you. I believe it should be a pop. Okay. But here's what happens if you do a popular vote. California with 40 million people and New York with 25 million people. Those two states, highly, and I'm a Democrat all my whole life. Those two states will... will popular votes. You said you're a Democrat. I am an... Libertarian, technically. Okay. And then I had the Libertarian Republican. presidential com- comment. You can't comment. just be switching up like this Go ahead. all the time. What was oh, that? Oh, I, I grew up a Republican. Go ahead. And I'm a Democrat, and now I'm a Libertarian. What did I do? And now I was a young Republican a when I grew up. Then I said, these motherfuckers are bullshit, so I go to Democrat. I said, these motherfuckers are worse. I shouldn't be cursed like that. <laughs> I, I go to, now I'm a Libertarian. You where I was confused. You said you were a Democrat your whole life. All right. No, I mean my dad my whole life. All right, let's, all right, now, New York. Now, give me a little one second rebuttal, right? Yeah. 
I'm, I'm with you on that. Like, you would have four states basically that pick the that president. determine the president. I, I'm, I'm with you on that. But my problem is, if you look at how much weight the popular vote contains compared to any other group. I got one right here. Okay. Any other group, we still at the bottom. Like, you... We don't have no power as people. Like, none. Well, you're Congress. And technically, you're supposed to vote the congressman who does the right thing. People, people. 435. I have never but seen they're a, bought. I have never seen a human that don't make a bad, that don't make a bad decision. 100%. All right, then. So, 100%. Right, then. So, therefore, you can't say, oh, you vote for the people that's supposed to make the decision. No. When you're talking about the state, when you're talking about the 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 somebody to address the United States, then I think everybody have a voice, and that's not true. How could you, what, what you're doing is you'd say that the popular vote should be voting for everything. No, I'm saying the popular vote should have a bigger percentage in who becomes the president than the electronic vote and all that other crap. Now I get what you're saying. Back at you. Because then you're saying that South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota, all these, I call them flyover states, all the, those dudes. You ever been to South Dakota? Yes, I was in Mount Rushmore. You, you ever been to me? North Dakota? Not North Dakota, South Dakota. I've been to Mount Rushmore. I've been to, North to Dakota, Crazy Horse. North I've been Dakota all that shit. got some of the most gorgeous women in the world. I'm telling North you. Dakota? North Dakota. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. This RV, Nick, you drive. Quit We're st- heading that way, man. Quit, quit with the stomping, bro. Oh yeah, you're just—I I can hear it in the headphones. Okay. No, seriously, but but I get I get it right, and I'm and I'm not. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to change anything. Shut up, mother. <laughs> I'm not trying to change anything. I'm not trying to. No, you it. should. You're a smart guy. But trust me. I, don't I let am, the I, I, your hat, your dreads don't don't change my nah, mind. Don't, don't that, that don't determine Absolutely, anything. Absolutely, man. I actually, Listen, I, actually, I come, man. I actually do this so people look at me and be like, "Oh, don't worry about him." Yeah, I like that. That's a good move. You know, like when you see me, the first thing people think is he's a thug, and that, and I'm 100 percent fine with that. I do it on purpose. I literally dress like this on purpose. You know, Brandon, you're, you're making me smile. I'll tell you why. When I was a street cat, obviously I still am. So but I, you do the opposite. No, everybody in my whole neighborhood thought I was a drug dealer or whatever it was, and I was the biggest Jew. I was a gangster, real gangster. I was a, uh, collector and so a drug dealer is not a real gangster no i wanted to throw them off is what i'm getting at what you're saying i get it i want them to say oh man so you know he ain't no i mean the feds know that listen i was dodging the big boys and i got smart enough to realize that i never worried about local they didn't have the money to catch me but the fbi with the major case squad got all the money in the world and all mm-hmm. the fucking power in the world yeah, you know they got that. all the back end too like yeah. everything i mean you call it they do. but what you're saying is very smart you, you you're you're letting your intelligence determine everything and that's Correct. the way to do it but throwing a person off to make you think this i i caught on to that in 2 seconds with you cuz i'm a street guy right but you also had a conversation with me that's what i'm saying you know i'm what having mean? a conversation if i was just walking by you and yeah. you looked at me nah right. see you know huh yeah, just passer buyers is what you're saying. Yeah, no, like not, saying. See, but that's people who are like that. But right, I, I, that's I come exactly from the what he's saying. He's not talking about you. I'm not talking, he's talking about, about everyone who, who actually looks at sit him. Sit here and have a conversation with me. Yeah. I'm talking about if yeah, I, judging if I, you. Yeah, by your look. I, if I walked into a Wall Street bank, the first thing they'll say is, "Oh, I'm not helping him. He's he's a nobody." Yeah. But then you talk to me and you realize I'm Brandon Merriweather. That you know the former yeah. NFL player. Now everybody's like, "Oh." Uh, Oh, you know come, I mean? on like, yeah, come on you know in, come on in, my and that's, and that's my point. Like, I don't want, I don't want to dress. Like, don't get me wrong. Today, I dressed a little different. You know what I mean? I actually got on, like, Louis shoes and, you know, a Louis Vuitton shirt and all this. I, I get it. Today, I dressed up a little bit. This is my dress up, by, by the way. <laughs> this is about as bad. I went to Congress and it wear Don't get me wrong. Shit. Don't get me wrong. When I was in the White House, I did put on a suit and tie. Now, don't get me wrong. I do have some lavish suits and ties and stuff. I have all that. I just don't wear it. Like, I, I, I honestly, I, I see no guy. point in wearing it. You are so cool. You are just like I was when like, I, I was in prison. But, I mean, meaning. You know, you know, you know what's crazy? My everyday outfit is basketball shorts, a white T-shirt, and Crocs. Nick, 
tell Brandon about something. Nick? We did a, uh, an interview with the candidate of the presidential, presidential election. election this year. And this man comes in dressed to the fucking nines. Suit press, His buttons, assisted. cuffs. He's in socks, basketball shorts. We don't know if he had underwear on or not. A stained shirt. <laughs> that sound like me. <laughs> hey, that sound like so the me. dude sits across from me, right? We're in, in the studio now. I have a studio I books. I take care of my mom. So that's why I moved back to up Melbourne, Florida, because I took care of her. I take care of her. She's 90. So he comes in, you know, nice, you know, he's presidential candidate for all this you know, legit shit. And he's got really, I mean, real answers. And I got real questions. So we sat down and knew, I knew this dude was looking at me like, who's this crazy mother? got this big pocket. What is, what is this crazy? I asked him a few questions. He goes, he stopped. He goes, you know, I got a lot of respect for you. You know more, you know, like he said it three times right. and you can you listen know, to the podcast. You know more than you, I thought you did. You know what? Right. And, and, I, but he's like, I literally whip. I took basketball the- <laughs> shorts. Sam, you know, Sam, my partner. Right. Sam will tell you, watch that. Sam messes with me all the time. He goes, man, you know, you just got basketball shorts. You, if you're lucky, if you got flip flops and, and, and or socks and, and a uh, tank top or cause I don't, it's not, listen, I go to places and people go, uh oh, what's he going to do? I went to, you know, you know this area a little bit? Right, I do. Okay, you know Lansing Island? Yes, I do. Okay. You know probably the people there. You know, I know all of them. So I go to a function there, and I love messing with those people. So I go to a function in their clubhouse. I know everybody out there. I walked in with an upside down pineapple t shirt. You know, <laughs> you know what that is? I do know what that is. And, and, and an upside down t shirt pineapple. And I'm talking with guy and the cool ones who party with me and I know them all down deep. They're laughing their balls off. They're like, Larry's so crazy. He does not give a shit. I literally had a pair of shorts. This is a, a high end day, a company like a, a high end purse company. These guys, friends of mine. My my buddy John goes, You are off your wall. Like, why? He goes, he goes, You got your t shirt. And of course, the t shirts. Uh, I, I, listen, it's got stains, right, Nick? It's got, uh, uh, he learned how to use bleach once. Learned how to use it. He's like, this is the best fucking thing in, in invention. And I was like, dude, stop using bleach. You, you just ruined all your clothes. I, I was like, I, look at your underwear. He's like, I think it looks cool. I was like, no, it's bleach stains, dude. Like, you got a bunch of bleach stains everywhere. You're not supposed to just use bleach during every set of laundry. You only use bleach on white, man. I, I learned that now. I did it. I was like, I'm going to put some bleach in these dirty white towels. And he's like, oh, you could do that? I was like, yeah. I mean, I didn't know I had to explain it to him. And then for the next two weeks, I just smell them just pour and ble- like a, a pool. <laughs> I was like, it's, it smells like chlorine in here, dude. Listen, man. I'm like, you know, you ruined all of your... He ruined all of his clothes. Every single piece of clothing. It looked cool to him. Yeah, he was like... That's it's all like, that matters. He was like, it's you like, got it, man. He's like, and it's like tie-dye. And I'm telling you, I got <laughs> no, my upside-down pineapple. It's all, th- you know, with old bleach. And, and John goes, my buddy, really good dude. He goes, you are crazy. And I'm talking... my One of my best friends there literally sold the company to Apple for $370 million. Oh, my God. Great guy. He's been on my show. He's a great friend. That dude goes, Larry don't give a shit. He, he, and I don't. It's not about I don't care. I respect everybody, man. I really do. I, I'm not like that. Listen, I won't mess with pieces of it. You know what no, I mean? I, I, I wouldn't do that. No, no, I get what you're saying. You but listen, if I'm going to come this thing, and you know you know who I am. You know how Josh I am. Josh is cool. Josh is the cool. best, man. That guy, another guy sold two companies for a billion dollars. <laughs> These guys, they go... But they like hanging out with crazy people too. Right, absolutely, you know that you have dealt the, with the, them. The, you got listen. The fine people. I love craft. Your guy in New England. That's my. He guy. got caught with freaking hookers. I love that guy. That's my. No, listen, listen, and I'm gonna tell uh, you this, and I'm gonna tell you this, right? We're on it. It's if, about, if you don't want to say, you can say no, you know. it's about four four owners in the NFL. If you ever get the chance to to <laughs> hang with them. Don't turn it down. It's about four. I'm going to give them to you. Okay, give me the four. Jerry Jones. Oh, Dallas. Okay. Don't turn it down. Don't turn it down. I got I, I know what he's saying. Dan Snyder. Snyder, Washington. Don't turn it down. Robert Kraft. New England. Don't turn it down. Okay, here's the last one. Jim Ursel. <laughs> 
Don't turn it down. Who's Jim Marshall? Uh, the India Big Coats owner. Don't what? turn it down. Those four. They, them, them, them. Some of the four. Them, the four coolest <sighs> owners I ever seen in my life. Al Davis. Did, did you know him? I, I, didn't, I didn't know okay. Al Davis. They Al say Davis he was like that. Before. Right. Okay. Clipped. Who? I said clipped. No, he wasn't clipped. No, but they, I, I'm clipping it. No, they, no, they say no. Listen, yeah, okay. when Kraft no, got his thing, you know what no, the thing. No. I said, good for him. I will give. Oh, but well, I don't give a shit. He's married. That's his business with his wife. I don't give a shit. My old ladies were all swingers. I do whatever the hell I want. And you know what? None of anybody's business. I'm, and I'm with you. I'm with you. I, 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 I 100 percent honest, honestly don't know why that became such a big story. I don't. Wait, we either why. I mean, it was a nothing story. And I know, the, at least I know the, the state attorney. Because there's something bigger it. going on. You know, I know the state attorney. Now, he dropped it. Dave uh, Dave Arenberg. Oh, the state attorney in, in down West Palm Beach. Yeah, because the, well. the state attorney here is, 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 is my good friend, Judge Bain. Oh, right, Judge right Bain. here? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my good friend. Yeah, he was a judge. Uh, the state attorney here is Phil Archer. I know him. I know all these guys. I deal with I got a big program that helps kids all over the country. Right, right. And it's called the Reality Check Program. And I developed that when I got out oh, of you, prison. You did that? So, so what that I was did, my program. That's all over the country. Yeah. So I, I, I actually started a foundation too called the uh, Brandon Merrill Thirty One Ways Foundation. You know, you I need mean? help. We, Let me know, we, man. We help single mothers. We help single mothers and uh, kids in poverty and all that. Good for that's you, awesome. man. Uh, that's you know, cool. Sam, my partner. Yeah. He shout start, out to single moms. Yeah, guys, man. Shout out to single absolutely, moms. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Mama, Sam. Those are, those are war heroes. My buddy, and I know <laughs> Sam a long time. He's, Sam's a street guy. We're street guys. Sam started a foundation with two other guys. Now it's the biggest foundation around here. It, it's feeding the kids from school, uh, kids who are hungry on weekends. And it's called the Hunger Project and for schools. And they give a backpacks for food packed for the weekend. They started with 35 kids. Now it's million dollars, millions of dollars, and they feed over 3,000. He'll tell you later. He don't even like to talk about it. And Sam's one of the great ones. You know, like he lost his kid. Matter of fact, today's his anniversary. He's an 18 year old kid. You know, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, he's great. But Sam, him, and they just, in Sam's kitchen, they started this foundation like you and I did, and all of it. And it's about helping kids who don't have the money. It has nothing to do with the parents, if they're fucked up yeah. or not. That's kids dope. are kids, man. That's dope, man. That's and, dope. And, and that's you know that's one of the big reasons I love Sam, and that's why I brought him in. You know, yeah, that, that's shit. dope. But uh, that's dope. And I love what you're doing because yeah. let me tell you something, man. Nobody knows until you, you know, Nick. You usually grew up in a broken form. We all, you know, listen. I, I work with everybody who's. Is, I hate to say, you know, we're not the normal guys, man. Absolutely. And you know. Not nothing against anybody. You know, I mean, how you treat people is just, what matters. But even the people who have the most normal family, you don't know what's going oh, on there. Oh, exactly. You right, don't know man. what the fuck's going that's, on that's, there. Now that's one hundred percent. You know what I mean? Well, you know, we know that, man. You know, their mom's I don't care popping what... Xanax and their dad's drinking too much. You know, like just because they have two parents, they exist. Oh, believe me, much, yeah, you know? absolutely. Like, I seen people with two parents who are like, she, oh she, shit, she, like, he, he might be beating ass. Oh yeah, man, you know there's I mean? so many things, and you know that, and I know that, and that, and that's. But at least you, you know, nobody's family is like. There's no perfect, perfect shit. There's you know, no everybody's perfect. fucked. You up. said it earlier, earlier in the <laughs> show. You said, "Show me the man who ain't make mistakes." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everybody you can't. Makes mistakes. You can't. You can't. There's, and those there's, polished families really do be scaring me the most. I'm like, your family's a little too polished. Like, oh, absolutely. listen to me. <laughs> listen, you show me like we got to share. Now, if I walk into my can't mom or my friend's house, yeah. I say right. He, Never drank, never did a drug, never did this, never. Get he needs the hell out he of here, man. You know checked. what? That he'll, scares me, he'll man. fucking lie. Yeah. He needs his computer checked. Listen, he'll, he'll lie. That's my, I said, if it's true, that scares me because there's something deep down in that yeah, motherfucker, man. Yeah. You that's know what I mean? That's 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 I want the dude who parties with me, that hangs with me, he's messed up, went to jail. He needs his computer checked. Listen, I teach, I literally teach police academies. And I tell them, I don't, you know where you cops all messed up? I tell the, the chiefs, everybody. And I spoke at the International Association of Chiefs of Police in Texas. I spoke at that big thing to the executive committees. I said, you know where you're messing up? Why aren't you hiring kids from more than neighborhood? Oh, but that, no, I want the kid who's got a bullshit uh, minor felony or a bullshit. I don't get, that kid's street kid. That kid, he wants to change his life and wants to do the right thing. He's going to know not to mess with somebody or some bullshit pot or some bullshit crap you're buying people with, bullshit drugs. I don't give a crap what you do. 
in your own home, I don't give up what you do in your own home. Talk about libertarian. What you do behind, as long as you ain't hurting people, you ain't hurting a kid, you ain't hurting people. Yeah, I agree. You want to do anything in your home, I don't give a shit. You go up on the wall and jack off upside down from the chandelier. I'm with Have you. fun. I'm with you on that. Don't I'm bother people, that. don't I'm bother me. That. You know, but my, my point being was that uh, it's the people who are always judging other people that just drives me up a wall, man. Because, you know, I tell people, you never walk the man's shoes, you know? You, you don't. You and know? That's, see, and that's and that's my thing, right? See, see. first off, let, let me get back to this foundation thing, and I'm going to tell you. Yeah, please. I'm going to tell you why. He's a I, whole interview. He's good. I'm going to tell you why I started it, right? I started it because growing up, like, my mom did everything. Like, she, she, she tried everything. And right, and at some point, you know, she couldn't help me and my sister them. So for Christmas, she would literally get me a board game, literally a board game. And I would, and every board game she gave me, I would literally would become the best person I know at it. Like connect risk four. or this or yeah, whatever. Like connect four. I'm the. I used to gamble with connect four. I used to gamble with people. I used to take my connect four to the bus stop and bet people. Two to one that I'm gonna win, and that's how I used to. I I was making money that way. So then Hustle, she got me. Man. Then she got me the Monopoly game. So I got the dice out of that game and learned to shoot dice. So now I'm at the bus stop. I'm shooting dice. So I used to do a lot of little things like that. And granted, she didn't even know. But so now what I'm doing now is every Christmas, the the every the Sunday before Christmas, everyone I throw. A real big toy drive. And I have bikes. I have food. I have everything. Music. Everything for the kids. It's all free. And I throw a real big toy drive for them. And I let people. I have everybody donate things to it. And people send my foundation money and everything. And we we, we have a real big. Last year we did 465 kids. This year we already got like 600 kids signed up. Not 600. I'm like the goal this year was 600 kids. This year we already got like 300 kids signed up. Like it's it's honestly every year it got bigger. And Don't I, quit. I'm not. I'm not. And you know how I started. You know how I started off though. When I first made it to the league, me and my aunties were talking. I was like, you know, for this Christmas, man, I wanna uh, get about 10 families that ain't gonna get nothing. And my mom, my stepmom, works for the school board. So I asked her, I said, look, get with the Ghana's counselors. Find me 10 kids in this area that's not going to get nothing for Christmas. That your they, that the Ghana's counselor think ain't going to get nothing for Christmas. And I'm going to buy it out of my own pocket. So for like six, seven years, I was literally buying it out of my own. From 07 to 16, I was buying it out of my own pocket. I would just send my auntie them money. They would buy everything. They would take them to Walmart. They would buy everything they wanted and come out. And now I'm starting to, now I got my auntie them and they was like, look, like stop, let's stop using your money. You know, you, you put your money in that you're going to write off and all that. That's fine. But, you know, let's let people donate because other people have been trying and to help And they want to help. Right. They was trying to help me, but I was busy. You know, I was playing. So I'm like, Man, I ain't got time to be trying to answer questions for you and do all that and let. So now, now that they do it, so now I let people help me now. So now people, people are starting to help and do things. Man, we got to keep keep in contact because oh, absolutely. What I did, you know, Brandon, and, and I did this at, for years and years and years, is that something like that. I actually threw a party every July for a thousand people. In my neighborhood, you couldn't donate. It was a gangster thing, but I had rides. I had uh, uh, bounce houses, clowns, painting faces. That I used to buy a thousand hot dogs, thousand hamburgers, six hundred years of corn, uh, forty cases of soda, ten kegs of beer. But every t-shirts, given like you said stuff, because I wanted to give back, and nobody could donate. I said, "No, say, no you can't." Like all common say, because you know, parents could not afford to take their kids four kids to, to an amusement fair. and a fair and, yes. and I did that then every Christmas what you did I used to go right here in Brevard and this is when I was in South Florida I used to come up here because my parents lived here and I'd go to a home 
that I know is like a, like a orphan home, like a kids that have money. One year I bought them like a, a volleyball courts and then Nintendo games or whatever. And each kid, then I walked into the place and they didn't have shoes. Some of the kids, I looked at the sneakers. Stop. I went back. I got every size of those kids and I went and bought them shoes. I mean, a $50 shoes for it. Not, not Nikes or whatever it was. But this is way back. And I go, you know, I just got that. I love because when and you... I- I do that same thing right now. I know, and I love now, it. Now, granted, now, granted, I can't lie. Like, I have, like, like the bangs. Like, the bangs, they help me with everything I do. They help me. They're great. Um, That's good people. And I also have, like, people like QCD. Like, QCD is a um, is a, a food delivery company. They deliver they, they deliver the food to Chick-fil-A. Like an Uber. And, uh, oh, no, oh no. it's like a Cisco. Yeah, it's like a Cisco. But it's called QCD. Yeah, um, Kelvin yeah. McBride is the manager of it. The one in the pop game, me and him is real good friends. And he helps me. I'm talking about tons. He will help me tons. And, and, and you know what? They're helping you because you're doing the right thing, man. Correct. Can you do me a favor, Nick, and go get the uh, uh, the band guy and and uh, the guy doing the shoes? And we'll get that. That's all we got. He wanted to come on. The three-time Grammy winner, mm-hmm. he wanted to come on. So... Just grab him now, and we're gonna. Hang, I'm gonna hang with him, and then afterwards we're gonna party. But yeah, yeah, uh, we're just cutting the show off. No, I'm to talk to him till you get them in, and then they'll come in for a few minutes. Then I'll go, and then we'll yeah, end the and show, then and then we, we're gonna really party. Yeah, yeah, you know. So you just go get them. We'll continue the show. You know what I mean? And talk and, and, until you're until you bring them back. <laughs> just two more. Otherwise, you know. I wasn't. Yeah, we, yeah, we are. We have, we well, his, his show's gonna be different. I got some ideas. I got some ideas. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring him. I'm gonna bring him to the studio. I think one day, maybe. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah, you're we'll you're in a popco now. Yes. Come. He, listen, I live in Palm Bay right here, so he can come one day and we'll hang out. Buy you the best roast beef sandwich you ever had. They oh, have that. Me. You don't eat meat. Nah. Man, I don't how do you do it? How do you? Running it. What the fuck? What? Who? <laughs> what? Leave it on. Just leave it on, man. Oh, I'm not turning nothing on. Just leave it on. Well, nah. What did I say? No, he was, we were talking about don't eat meat. He say, see, I got to keep running the show because now he was finna turn the show off. No, man, he's not turn it off. Yeah. Just go get him. So otherwise, I'm going to be here till 12. Yeah, he won't. You can, don't worry. You can watch it on YouTube when you're editing. But he's going to edit it. <laughs> no, he ain't edit it. He's going to tell the guys he's been yelling at. <laughs> yeah, he, I made him. He's got you know. This kid's a street kid, you know. And I he, like him though, man. Yeah, he's a street kid. He had no, you know, mom, dad overdose, you know, dad overdose, mom, you know, typical stuff. We all come, and I love kids like that, man, because that's me, too. me. Me too. You know, that was me, and not my dad, mom, but they were good, but they had more money. You know, we come five brothers and sisters, man. I remember wearing. You know, slippers to play basketball because they didn't have money. My dad's laid off. My mom tried to, you know, help five feed kids. You know, man, I used it, to, it is what it I is. Used to, my cousin used to go to jail, right? He did. He probably did about ten years in jail. He, you know, we used to that. call that life on the on the installment plan, probably because he's in and out, that. right? Yeah, he was yeah. in and out, right? Yeah. <laughs> but so he used to he used to sell drugs, and he used to have everything, right? He used to have everything. I mean, all the shoes, and me and him were the same size. So, so yeah, you already gave me one. No, oh, you want to cut it for you? I got yeah. to cut it. Yeah, I'm going to cut it in a minute. No, I got a good cutter for you. You got a good cutter? There's a $300. Okay. I stole it. So, it's a JT DuPont. So, me and him, so me and him <laughs> were the same size. So, you know, you know, when he used to go to jail, like his jewelry, my first necklace, it was his. My first necklace, I went and stole it from him because he he was in jail. He was gone for five years. Like, yeah, what's he going to do with it? Yeah, what you going to do with it? So I just went and stole it from him. I, you <laughs> his are. shoes, everything. Trey said to me, Larry, I said, I don't know, you know, I'm a partier, you know. But I'm private, but partier. I don't give a fuck to a lot of things. Listen, I believe everything. Here's my belief in everything. You control it. Don't let it control you. I 100% believe that. You know what I mean? I mean, drug. I've done every drug, do drugs, but I control them when I got I, business no, I, to I do. I 100% believe that. You know that's, what I meant? That's for everything, though. That's everything Absolutely. in life. Absolutely. Brandon, I, I, I mean, this is on, so it's you control it. And I teach this. Don't let it. Because you can't tell a kid or me or anybody. You're never going to do something for the rest of your life ever. Get, listen, I live on this. Listen, I'm 62. Had 15 vertebrae fused in my back. Open heart surgery, stabbed 
twice. Shot once. You were stabbed in jail? I was stabbed once in jail, once on the street. Bad. I stabbed two people in jail, and I uh, got shot once. So, I mean, listen, it is what it is. I'm lucky I'm here. You know what I mean? I don't want no parts in them life. I don't want no parts of that life. No, 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 no. I, no. You think I want to look? I live a good life now, man. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. What I'm getting at. I live a good life, and you know, and I kids like him, and these are kids that are gonna really turn it around. And I tell young people, he's smart. I mean, he has control. You know, what a shame. Uh oh. Every <laughs> everyone's gone. Did they leave? What, what a shame. Did they really leave? Yeah, they're gone. Oh, they left at nine. They really oh. dumped shit. Okay. What a shame. All right, that's okay. So what's your time frame? You got 20 more minutes? Yeah, go ahead, man. We could, we could wrap. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> what a shame. We got to keep going. Nick <sighs> wants another drink. I, think, I, think, uh. I actually think Nick went out there and didn't even look. He and got a few shots. He wanted, he wanted, what? He what wanted a shame. to join this conversation. He was like, man, no, hell Fuck no. This. I, mean, no I, didn't want, I didn't want to cut the conversation. No, I didn't want to cut it's, the conversation. You know what you got to do with this podcast, right? No, this is another podcast. Absolutely, I just I just made my job easy. Thank you. <laughs> he, uh, you know what? He does the podcast <laughs> like that because we have the guys who are editing other stuff. I was like, dude, he's yelling we're at everyone. I made done. him a manager yesterday. I'll say it right online. You know, I was so proud of him he yesterday. You know, oh come on, the tough guy. I I'm, I'm telling you, I was so proud of him. <laughs> he has guys that work for him. me. I go off the hand. I don't give a shit. You know, I'm just who I am. I've been there my whole life. He is very, he, he's, Nick is not like maybe you are. I'm, I'm a confrontational person. Me too. I don't care. Yeah, me too. I'm like, I'm like, of course I'm like a, it, under the skin confrontation. He, yeah, it, but he's but very like, smart. Yeah, you like the one who get on your nerves type of confrontation. Oh, well, no, like, you're, not, oh, you're, not, you're, not the, you're not like the, fuck no, you. No, 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 not even, right? I don't like even you know. and me. No, you're no. more like the, all no, right, no. well, I'm going to aggravate the shit out of no, him. No, not too. even, not even. No, you know, no, not even. But when I get to the point. I'll say some things, and if you break it down, I'll be like, are you fucking stupid? And then I'll just say it in a formatted way where I'm like, do you think I'm stupid? Are you stupid? Well, what happened was when I first hired him, I said, you know, you, you're young. Okay, this is just... Go ahead. That's not fair, bro. That's I said, fair. listen, you're going to be a manager. You're going to do things. You have people. Not fair. You got to... You want me to break it down? Well, not, of, not fair that why. was? I know why. So you don't have to say that online because okay. my son... <laughs> or and no, he he hired some kid that didn't know what the fuck he was doing, and it was like, hey, you need to manage these people who've been working for me for five years. Wait a minute, and one of them is my son, and I was like, I have no experience in this field. What do you want me to do? Now he's got all new employees, and I got all new employees, and he loves it. But he's doing good. <laughs> well, now you get to teach him what you learn. You know what I mean? Exactly. Uh, that point. Well, when you... So now, exactly right. so now all yeah. the people who don't know shit, you get to actually teach them the way you want it done. But then when they act like they know shit. And but like, oh, I was really, I, I I was really proud of him because the way he handled it. You know, I mean, I'm smart enough to know. Listen, I'm not a manager. And I'm I a crazy And partner. I recorded it. Yeah, yeah, me, <laughs> me too. I'm not, I'm not the manager. But I even, I even told <laughs> him too. I was like, hey, you don't want him in here. Because we're not going to get anywhere, and everyone's just going to get gone the fuck off on. So, and I'm, I'm going to I'm be, di be a dick really quick, but I'm not going to scream and not get anywhere. I don't scream that much, do I? Yeah, no, you do. You, I can tell that. I can tell that by talking. <laughs> you get that. Fred says, we're that. in the show dude, because this, I got dude, you, this, Larry. You this, are this, this like the, the, the greatest guy, and, it, and, then and I'm right. like, dude, you, holy shit, I... Oh my God! He's, I could, I he's gonna fucking that. hit everyone in this room. I can see Holy that. Holy <laughs> shit, bro! I see that. You know it's crazy. I got a I got a cousin like that. Though. Actually, the one who I just told you went to jail. Yeah. And I was still in his shoes. I love it. You missed that. You gotta hear that. And I, I, I love it. Jewelry. He 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 is just like that. Like granted, when me and him talk, like if you hear me and him talk, you'll think we yelling at each other. You'll be like, why the hell? Are no, they yeah, 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 nah. But honestly, that's just the how he talks. That's how he my mom talks, is. He talks super aggressive yeah. all the time. That's like how he my never, mom is. He never mean it. She be like, "I fucking love you, you know, idiot." He goes, I go, I, you know, this RV. I, she be like, "I fucking shit. love you, dumbass." So I go into a place <laughs> like, up she, in South Carolina, you. right? Get repaired. Oh fuck that! No. Nick goes, "I ain't going in with you." I go, "Why?" He goes, "No way." He goes, "I know what you're gonna do." I don't do anything. I mean, what do you mean? Well, no, you got to tell the story. Right? He says that <laughs> what a day before. These guys have been working on an estimate on his RV. And he's like, all right, I'm going to come up there. And they call him. And they're like, hey. Um, it's going to cost 12 grand for this or whatever it was. 
He goes, I'll come up there. Uh, and we'll talk about it. Oh, shit. So then they call him back and they're like, well, there's there's nothing to talk about. Didn't you see our extensive estimate? Very No, very, estimate bill. Yeah, was no very, estimate. Or bill. Very broken down. Like, they wrote paragraphs on everything. He goes, yeah, I saw it. We'll talk about it when I get there. <laughs> and we get there. He goes, you coming in? No. <laughs> no, I'm not coming in. <laughs> Why not? Up, no. Not for me. I, he, I had he's all right on backup. <laughs> he's so, okay. So what you're telling me is you the bail out guy. You going to bail him out of jail when he gets No, I got a few people no, that that's, do that too. That, that's, that's John. I'll that's just call my buddy. John. I'll call John. Call a bunch of the guys. But yeah, he was like, why not? I was like, I just heard the way you talk to that man. He yes, says, I, 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 like you said, aggressive. I'm not, though. I don't think I'm not. You're not intimidating to me because my mom's the exact same way. She'll be like, I fucking love you, you fucking idiot. I'm like, the people would be like, "What? What the fuck?" Like, she loves me. What, what do you mean? She's just being normal. <laughs> and you're like, "Have a nice day." You're like, "I told him have a nice what day." What happened was like, I walked you, in there. You, you I was in there for three little, hours. A little aggressive. About the it. guy, guy he comes out and he's trying to explain. He says, "Stop." I said, "Dude." <laughs> and then they you gave don't you. You think that I'm a businessman? They give you that bullshit. You don't think I'm right a businessman? I got my Mercedes. It goes in for repair. Do you think I'm gonna take the bullshit? What you just said. said to Bill went down to six thousand, and they owe me twenty five hundred, still in repairs from twelve thousand. And then they were like, "Hey, can you? <laughs> How does that happen? To up? It oh. happens because they were screwing me from the beginning. Absolutely. And if you don't stand up for yourself, nobody will. They're gonna screw and then I took, you, right? And then I, Am I right? You're smart. Yeah, you're a street no, you're guy. Right. And then I took right. notes, and I had a little meeting yesterday. No, so then he does, <laughs> he takes notes. Now. He's smarter than me. Well, no, way. I saw. I, I was like. You just, it's kind of the same thing we did. You were like twelve grand, and yesterday I was like seventy eight hundred. What for? What? Yeah. Like, See, I what? told him I look. I said, Nick, <laughs> before I blow up, I said you better take care of this. I like, okay, I, I got, got a I bill got here for five grand. Bill here for seven grand. Bill, for, explain to me. Listen, I'm no moron. I just, I just want to wait. Tell me before I blow up. He goes, okay. He knew I was right, and he took care of it. That was pretty cool. <laughs> but dope. they could. First of all, let me explain this though. Even on that. They're great guys. They're good kids. That's why I was like, I'll take you know what I mean. Hold on. (laughs) And before I just knock their heads off, let the kid take care of it because I'm getting old, Brent. I agree with you, Brent. I love what you're doing, though, man. Knock your heads off no more, man. Nah, Brent. You know what it is? It's hard to that. Listen, people say people don't change; they do change. First of all, I tell young people, you're 20 years old. You're gonna notice. You think you know it all. When you hit 30, wait. When you hit 30. You look back and go, man, I didn't know shit at 20. Absolutely. When you hit 40, you you look back and go, man, I still didn't know shit at 30. When you hit 50, you're going to go, damn, am I ever going to learn any? When you hit 60, you're going to say, what the fuck? I'm still learning. And that's why I tell people, I can't stand when anybody says to somebody, oh, he changed his mind. He should change his mind because he's learned. He understands things now better. You know, you're not the same person you were when you're 20. Absolutely. You, you know, you are, I could sit here and talk and tell you, I get it totally because I look back and that's the only thing I tell people. Listen, I'm no smarter than you in school. I got a law degree. It means nothing. I got more experience than you, especially in a place you don't want to go like, prison and macro right. security and that's what i find whatever. peace in right there that's why i find peace in all these kids my age are like i don't have it together what the f- i don't i'm not kylie jenner i'm not a billionaire I'm like shut what up the man fuck? Like, i mean you know none of us know what the hell is going and I, on and i just like, try to say experience. i don't know what's going you're on. small you're at that perfect age i really wish i was in prison at your age i went to prison at 34 i didn't get out till 46 and uh i look at those years you lose Best years of your life, obviously, 34 yeah. to 46. Yeah, that, from earning, from fucking, to anything you want. I agree. Best years of your life. I agree. And that's okay. I'm not a bitter man at all, as you can see. I no, live my do, life, man. You seem like you're very happy and content. I'm very am content, happy, love life. I love people. I love things. And I look back at that, and I look at a guy like yourself who's got it together at 40. I mean, you're, you're still such, because I got out of 46. And when I got out of prison, you know, the government took everything. They do all this shit. Uh, but that's also objective, not not on you, but nobody's got it together. Nobody has no, anything together. No, no, no. Okay. What I meant by that. Oh, no, no, I think, no. I got, I think I got it pretty together. You do. What I meant by that. Like I'm, I'm think about this, right? Brandon, what I meant that, just to start that, is people who tell me, oh, you know, I, I, I lost the business, I did this, <clears> it's over, I can't do it. Shut the fuck up. Get out of the fucking thing. Get in the saddle and get back on the horse. 
and do it, man. Stop whining, man. Life's too short. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. So, so you know what I meant. Let, let's let's circle back. Yeah, just a little circle back. Just a small one. So you tell me this, right? I'm 39 years old. I've been retired for seven years? seven years. Wow, 32. I've been retired for seven years. Never worked another job. Never had to work another job. I owned. Two restaurants, one still That's going. Right. I failed that one what? because I trusted people. Um, I such experiences. I I I'll go on business. A, I own a real estate company that rents out, that buys, flips, and rents out homes. Um, I got a profit. I got a nonprofit foundation that's continuously growing every year. Like, and I'm raising four kids. Yeah, four children. Yes, and one of them I, is I a straight say, A. One I, of them is a straight A student. One of them is an A B student, and the other two just not getting into school. Mm-hmm. So, so when I say, yeah, I got it. When I say I got it together, I don't mean I got it together as in like I don't make mistakes. I don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I say I got it together, I mean now I kind of know who I am. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. And I know yeah. what to focus on and what to put my time into. So so it's easier now to determine what to do and what not to do. Exactly. That's why yeah. I say I got it together. Oh, for sure. And then even when people see someone who has it together, they can also be like, well, I have my bad days. But you still have it together. You know see, you know exactly what's going on see, with I yourself. Don't believe, I don't believe in bad days. You said you had your bad days. Yeah, but my bad days is mental. Like that's I, what I'm saying. Yeah, like a, that's I'm exactly ta- what I'm saying. I'm talking about because like you a, can flip the story and be like everyone. Right, I'm talking has about their mental own health. things they so, have to go so through. So when people say, when people say, you know, I have bad days. Like I had a bad day today. Like if I ask somebody, I'd be like, "Hey, how was your day?" And they'd be like, "Oh, it was terrible." Oh, that's not how I take see, it. See, see, I know what you're taking. See, yeah. see, I think people people have bad hours or bad. Yeah. Couple minutes. I think bad days are like, dude, I couldn't get up. Like, or see, I that's pretty, see, yeah. now that's what I consider a yeah. bad day. Like, my I, bad I, I was days crippled is, in bed today. Right. Guys? That's like, now that's me. That's what I'm saying. And right. Then you can just right. flip it and be like, I have it together, but on the I other my, end, correct. I, I have, have my to, bad days. I have to correct. realize what's going on, right, and fix it. Right. You know what I mean, right. So, so yeah, when you're talking about it in a mental standpoint, too. That's yes, how, yeah, you're absolutely that's, yeah, right. Exactly. That's how but I, was I, I thought you were taking it. it as as no, I don't fan. like it. Oh, I got yelled at by my boss today. It was a bad day. Right, right. No, and I'm like, oh, it you, wasn't a bad day. Right, you had a bad Shake hour. Shake it off. No, you, you weren't you crippled in bed. You know, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, and that's what I tell. I tell that people you know? all the time. You like, couldn't see because you, you know, you couldn't see because you had a, such bad like anxiety or depression. Like, Correct. You couldn't see straight. No, right. your boss yelled at you, dude. Right. Calm, calm down. And that's you know, calm what, down. That that's that's what a lot of people and say. Those people, bad days I'm is. like, come on. Yeah, right. You had a bad day. All right. That's okay. what people Tomorrow's say. Tomorrow's gonna be better. Day. All right. That's what people say is a bad day. Seriously. Yeah. They be like, no, yeah, know, that's yeah. a bad day. So I'll be like I'll be like, nah, that's not a bad day. Yeah. That's not a bad day. Like you had a bad hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you probably had a bad <laughs> couple of minutes. Somebody yes. raises their tone at you. Correct. Yeah. You know, but that, that's, that's not a bad day. You know what I mean? I can understand you got put out of your house and you got nowhere to yeah, go yeah, yeah. and your car got repoed. All this happened in one day. Then, okay, you had a bad day. A bad. You know but, what I mean? You know. But but still. You're not fighting something. Correct. You can fix that, you know. Correct. Exactly. And that's wh- and that's where I go. I, I always be like, look, man, you didn't have a bad day. You had a bad couple of hours. Yes, I agree. And stand on your, your feet. But, and right. fix it. Right. And the people who can't, they'll just keep bitching about it. Correct. They'll literally just, that's what they'll, that's their starter conversation. Was that it rained and my windshield wipers didn't work. I'm going to talk about it all day today. Right. All and, day. I'm going to come into work what, and talk about it all day. Correct. And that's like, what I don't like. Your defrost didn't work. Can you shut up about it? Like, you're still talking about this as a uh, starter point <laughs> of your day? All right. So, so that old um, man can't hold his bladder no more, huh? No, nah, well, <laughs> <laughs> there's a. No, nah, I hold so my bladder, you, but I want to get out of so clothes so or relax. When you, get, when you get sixty, you gotta, you can't hold your bladder no more. You nah, gotta you know, I, once it breaks, you're <laughs> over, man. You know that, though. Come on, who you kidding? I don't kidding? know that. I don't know that. 
My bl- I and to think I was about to go take a piss. I can still hold my yeah. bladder. <laughs> yeah, you can't hold the bladder. I can still hold my bladder. I am okay. You can still drink beer. Once you break that bladder, it's over, drink right? Beer. Oh, what, what, what do you drink? Liquor. Yeah, Liquor. me too. Whiskey. I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a I'm beer whiskey. guy. Yeah. I have never in my life drunk a beer. Really? Ever. That's him. Captain Morgan. I I I I I, I tasted a beer. I, I have like, I have This tasted. is like piss bread. Like, I, why would I want to? Oh, grow? look I at you, rich ass man. Let me tell you something. No, man. no, no. What do you mean, rich? Just because, just because you grew up drinking beer, that Natties. don't mean you had Natties. to do the same yeah. thing. Well, I went that into Walmart and I stole my. I love you guys. The young wa- guy, you got a I middle went, age <laughs> and a younger, and they're jumping on the old man. I went into Walmart and good. I stole my liquor. <laughs> I didn't buy my. I went to Walmart. I stole whatever my you do, I will definitely get involved, and, in your and case I will of help. Beer, I mean you. that. Thank you. I appreciate you. It. You got that. That that. Trey was right. He goes, "You too, man. Forget about it. You too," because he knows the way we are. No, Trey, yeah. Trey, Trey is my guy, though, man. You know what? We'll do. We wouldn't do. We wouldn't do the due diligence right if we didn't talk about. The tray in the cigar lounge a little bit, you know uh, what I mean? That is, ba- right? wait, with that, that, that's uh, why we Trey here. just had his whole podcast, right? He but had, we, we're here. We're here. <laughs> no, I did. This I know. Is what I, I agree, did for I Trey agree. to talk about Trey. Here's what we're gonna do now. Yeah. Before we even do that, no. I'm gonna do something. You're gonna understand it right now. Just one sec, everybody. I just was had a great conversation. With Brandon uh, Merriweather. Mary. Merriweather. There you go. I had a great conversation. We had a lot of fun. He's a great guy. He has a lot of good information for a lot of young people. And I want them to understand that this is what life is about. He's a hardworking young guy. He still cares about people. He does the right thing. And he has fun in life. And I want to know that. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that podcast. And we're going to have him back at another time because he has a lot of great things going on with a lot of foundations. Thank you very much. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If y'all want to donate to the Brandon Merriweather Foundation, go to bm31foundation.org and hit the donation button. I'm always better than that, it, my man. Be, it's going to be in links in this podcast. It's we're going to have right personal there. links. Blue. We're going to have first a bunch thing, of stuff you. right thank below you. this podcast. And, and listen, when I see young people and how everybody's young, I hate now that are doing the right thing. I, I I'm going to support them. So when I come out to an event, you guys will know about it. And we're going to do some things. We definitely will. So I want everybody to understand that. So check him out. Check all his links out. Great athlete, great person, and that's what I could care more about than anything. So please check him out. Have a great day, everyone. Please stay safe and make good choices.